here's a question which ultrasonic tips can be used to remove attached pulse stones now the question is ultrasonic tips so I'll stick to that ultrasonic is a device which works mechanically only with vibrations there's no rotation like a burr now it's not speed it's amplitude so first of all in the chamber level you can be on a high range there are different ranges medium range or small range that's low range and high range so low is used in the deepest part of the root canal low to medium is used at the entry point of the root canal and medium to little higher can be used at the chamber level having said that what are the instruments they're all contra-angle instruments they're nothing but your scaler a good scaler that you use for your perio cleaning or uh, oral prophylaxis can be used here also however having said that every scaler is also known as a power generator which means it converts that electrical energy that you take a supply of into mechanical energy so that vibration that you need is a power generator which is attached in the chair or externally as a scalar unit but the scalar unit comes from different companies try and buy something that's very uniform homogeneous vibration and real time most of the times what happens is you know you'll end up getting these uh, lesser ones which are not homogeneous they end up breaking your tip because the tip becomes expensive you have to attach a tip to the scaler or the power generator now and it can be used for various uses not only in endo but also in say crown removal in restorative caries removal uh, and plenty of other uses coming to ultrasonics and endodontics you have tips that are broad that are stout that is short to be used at the entry point and these tips cannot go into the root canal space because they're wide, they're big. They're like a burr size or bigger than that. They're mostly rounded, they may be ball ended, they may be inverted cone, whatever shape they may be. And when you go into the root canal, you need to change the tip and then go in for a more pointed or a tapered tip with different diameters. So then it starts going deeper into the canal, so you're not wasting enough of the root canal dentine now for broader and stouter tips you have different materials you can use a steel or a diamond and for the thinner tips you only have to use maybe steel maybe diamond but in addition to this you have zirconium you have titanium and also some new material called niobium all these materials are good but the last three materials that i mentioned cannot be used at the entry level because they're very expensive they're very thin, they're fragile, they will break. For chamber level, you need steel, if not diamond. So that's my request. When you purchase, you have to purchase two different sets and see how to use it. But generally, the shorter and the stouter, the axis cavity ultrasonic tips, so-called from different companies, are long-lasting.